Hey guys, it's Zach from the Concon channel, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to build an army in Mana Lords. In order to build an army, it takes a very long process of crafting and doing many things, such as increasing your burgage plot levels, getting iron having good spawn locations and all those things. In my case, I did not survive my first bandit attack and I needed to purchase mercenaries. Now, what I recommend doing is building a manor, which is this building. And what you're going to do is start taxing your people. Now, as you can see here, when you tax people, you lose approval. So make sure that you just don't go below 50%. But once you start taxing your people and you are getting regional wealth through your trading post, you will then start turning that regional wealth into treasury when you start taxing them. When you tax them and you have turned your regional wealth into treasury, you will then be able to start hiring mercenaries. So you'll just go to your army, the plus sign, and then it says you hire mercenaries. And you can pay for these mercenaries. Now, I don't recommend getting the 110 one. Go for like the cheaper one when you're starting because it costs quite a bit. But once you have that, you can hire them and then you can do your first attack with that. But after that, you obviously don't want to keep spending money on the mercenaries because it becomes expensive also don't forget that once you have hired your mercenaries to disband them after the battle has been completed so that you're not paying for them every month now if you want to build your own army i'll tell you the way i did it because i don't think building and crafting all the materials to actually craft the armor and weapons for them was the most efficient way to build an army what i did was i actually went to my trading post and i started trading my excess goods to make a lot of regional wealth once i made plenty of regional wealth what i actually did was i started buying the actual goods themselves so if you go to the army and you go to the spear militia you'll see that we need 36 spears 36 lodge shields 36 helmets 11 gamesons and 19 male armor now what i did was i bought all those goods so that i could just immediately build my army without having to go to the process of crafting the goods because i wanted to build the army so that i had an army and then i could start developing my village so that it could actually start crafting it to then save money which is where i've got it now so now i don't need to buy any more of the weapons or any more of the armor pieces i literally just craft them myself because i gave myself that time by buying all the equipment over time i started just crafting them naturally and once you have that down, you can then start obviously developing more armor and weapons and start creating more militia. And while your village is now growing, you'll be able to create more of these troops because if your village is small, you'll only be able to have one troop. And obviously the bigger the village, the more troops you'll be able to create. So if you do by chance want to start crafting the weapons and armor what you'll need to do is get your burgage plots to level two once you have your burgage plots at level two you'll then need to create backyard extensions such as the armorer's workshop the fletcher's workshop the cobbler's workshop the tailor's workshop the joiner's workshop and the blacksmith's workshop and as you can see the blacksmith will then turn your iron into tools and then it will create gamesons which you need it'll also create war bows and then it'll also create helmets and mill armor. So if you want to do that, you'll first need to get your burgage plus to level two, and then you can start crafting these, and then you can start actually crafting those armor pieces and weapons. But that is a lot longer, so I just recommend trading and buying the weapons themselves. But yeah, guys, that is how you build an army in Mandalords. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.